nose this morning? You had a shower? Nothing you can do with a bit of this stuff on the kids. <laughs> straight onto the uh, straight on the armpits. That is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me about that time when I absolutely stitched you in the game of table tennis upstairs. Do you want to talk me through that? Right, I game of table tennis. I don't know how old we were, maybe 14, 13, 14. And playing ping pong, we're in the upstairs sort of attic bit, smacking away. We're getting pretty good by this stage, so we're having epic rallies. Ended up smoking one down the line as our fresh airy, and all of a sudden, I've, I've done a little salo, so I've celebrated, and obviously being the competitive beast that he is, juices were flowing. He's flung the bat straight at me, clocked me right in the lid. As has quickly realized that I'm twitching by this stage, so I've come around the table to chase him. As has quickly darted down the stairs, as he's gone down the stairs, I've leant over the rail, and I've grabbed his shirt, and then as has gone, nah, stuff ya. Turned around, grabbed my shirt, and he's ripped me over the rail, but as I've come over, We've pulled the whole railing down <laughs> with us, and we've quickly, after going like hammering tong at each other, we've literally like turned a switch, and we were now on the same team. Because if Dad had have woken up, he was coming hell for leather at it. So we got enemies into best mates. I guess that leads into my next one. What, for you, what's it take to be a good mate? What's, yeah, yeah. What's it mean to be a good mate? Like, it, I feel like you know, obviously, with your mates, you've got your your genuine just banter, mucking around, chewing the fat. That's an awesome part of it. But I feel the you know, when you've got a good mate and a close mate, it's when you are having those more meaningful conversations on a deeper level. You know, it's it is the check-ins on how you're actually travelling, not just that superficial. Yeah, not going well, mate. Good day, whatever it is. So I know how, how are you actually tracking, like what's going on. I, I find um, talking about your own vulnerabilities and you being open about yourself can also allow others to open up about themselves a lot more as well. Yeah. You, a lot of the time, you've either experienced something very similar or you're going through something on a similar level um, at the same time. So it's happened a number of times where you find you can help each other through situations and it just you know, it feels so much more powerful and uh, more meaningful when you have someone there that you know you can lean on and um, work through it together. Yeah, big yeah. time. Anyway, Boffa, great to chat, son. Great to chat. All right, this is me here. Love your work. All right, Drop just remember, off. next time you go in. You sure this is your joint? Yeah, this is me here. It's about an $11 million house. Yeah, no, that's where I live. You're just remember. Sure that's your place. But anyway. This is what you need, okay? You're All a right. bit reeking today, so. Right, that's for me. Get that on. This is stuff for your pits. Love it. Mm, smells good too, Cobra. Thank you.